Hi, this video demonstrates how to integrate and use code review tool with Team System 2010. This demo contains the following sections. First, we'll go through an introduction. Then, we'll go through the workflow for basic code review. Then, we will go through how to configure code review tool for TFS projects. After that, we will figure out how to configure TFS project check-in policy so that code reviews are enforced. Then we'll go through a demo of code review workflow using pending changes. And then finally, we'll check in the reviewed changes. Let me briefly explain the setup for this demo. I have installed Team System 2010, Visual Studio Professional 2010, and Code Review Tool on this demo machine. In the default uh, team project collections, I have a project called testing in team system version control, which contains some demo source code, which I'll be using for demonstrating how to integrate code review tool with team system. Here is the testing project. Here is the demo source code, which is in the TFS project called testing. Here is the view of the testing project in Team Explorer. Here is the source code explorer for the team project. I have also configured team build system to build the demo source code. The build definition is configured for gated check-ins, where each check-in is automatically shelled and a new verification build is initiated. If the verification build is successful, then the shell sets are automatically checked in to the version control system. If verification build fails, then the shell changes are not checked in to version control system. Gated check-in helps avoid broken check-ins by developers, so the latest version of source code can be built easily without any errors at any point of time. Now let's go through the code review workflow. First, developer edits some code. Once the code compiles and is unit tested by developer, it is ready for code review by peers. Developer creates a new shell set of pending changes. Developer then creates a new review in the code review tool and adds the shell set created to the review and invites reviewers and starts the review. Reviewers review the code and comment on the issues they find. If there are any issues identified in the review, then developer updates the changes to fix the issues and creates a new self shared Developer then updates the existing review with the new self shared and restarts the existing review. Once review is complete and there are no issues identified, developer checks in pending changes specifying successfully completed review URL in the check-in notes. Gated check-in automatically shells the new check-in and starts a new verification build. If the verification build fails for any reason, developer edits the code again and goes through the code review cycle again. If the verification build succeeds, TFS automatically checks in the pending changes on behalf of the developer. The edit cycle is now complete. Let's configure code review tool to review change sets or self sets in an existing TFS project. In code review tool website, navigates to depots page and create a new depot. Fill in the details for Team Foundation server projects. to create the depot. Now the depot has been created successfully. You can now select change sets and shell sets from the testing project for review. Now let's configure the TFS project to enforce code review check-in policy. We need to enforce 
that new check-ins have been reviewed. There are various ways to do this in TFS infrastructure. One of the simple ways to do this is to use a mandatory check-in note field called review URL. This field will contain the URL of the completed review in code review tool for the changes being checked in. To add, select team, select team project settings, select source control. Go to check-in notes, tab, and add a new field called review URL and mark it as required. Click add and say OK. Now each check-in which is submitted to the project will force the user to enter the review URL field, thereby verifying that the code review has been done on the new check-ins. Now let's go through a code review cycle of the pending changes to see how all of this comes together. Let's check out program.cs file and add functionality to compute factorial of given integer. Let's compile this code and make sure it compiles fine. Since it compiled fine, now let's start a review. To review the changes, we need to first create a self check. Let's give it a name. Let's add a comment. Let's shelve the changes. Now let's create a new review and select the self shared for the review and invite other reviewers. For the demo purposes, I'm going to invite myself for the review. Now let's create the review. Let's start reviewing the changes. Let's review the factorial function. It looks like the input is not being validated properly. Let's add a comment for that. Also, it looks like the factorial function is recursive in nature. Let's add a comment for that. Now let's mark the review as complete. Let's fix the two issues identified in the factorial function, one related to input arguments and another related recursion. Now let's compile the new source to make sure it builds fine. Now we need to update the existing review with the new changes. For that, let's create a new shell set. Now let's go to the code review tool and update the review. To update the review, click Edit, add the new self shed and click Save. The code review system should automatically merge the changes and show you the latest changes appropriately. Let's re-review the changes. Looks like the first comment about validating input arguments is now taken care of. 
Also, we know that the second comment about to avoid recursion is also taken care of. So let's go to the open threads and mark them as closed. Let's mark the review as complete now. Since the review has been completed successfully without any open issues, now it's time to check in the changes. Now let's check in the pending changes. Now as you can see, the review URL check-in note field which we added is raising a check-in validation because it's not filled. Let's fill it with the review URL of the recently computed review. Now let's click check-in. Since it's a gated check-in, you can see that the new build changes have, have to be verified before they can be checked in. Let's build the changes. Now let's verify if the build was successful. Looks like the build was successfully done and the changes were also committed in. Let's look at the change set. So here is a change set which was automatically checked in for the feature which we added. And here is the check-in note containing the review URL for future reference. In summary, this demo showed you how to integrate and enforce code review policy for your existing team system projects using code review tool. We first configured code review tool projects to review change sets and shell sets in TFS projects. We then configured TFS project check-in policy to enforce a code review URL check-in note setting. We then went through a code review of pending changes. Then we checked in the reviewed changes. If you need more details, please visit httpcodereviewtool.com or if you need help, please contact us at support at proteumsoftware.com. Thanks for watching the demo.